So I was helping my online student this morning and guess what I found out? Microsoft has updated the presenter mode for PowerPoint Live. It sure was a surprise for a student to see me on the screen. I think I enjoyed more than my student. Let me quickly finish cooking for my son and let's go back to my studio and let me show you how it's all done. Finally done with my cooking. Happy son, happy mom. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I will be showing you how to use your new standout mode in PowerPoint Live. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am in my Teams channel. I'm going to go ahead and start my meeting. And I'm gonna click join, give it a second. While it's still letting me in, I'm gonna go ahead and expand it. And once I'm in my meeting, of course, Microsoft is gonna ask me if I wanna invite more people, I'm gonna say, no, sorry, not today. And all the way to the right-hand corner here, you have share content. And when I click on share content, as you can see, you can have your presenter mode, your standout mode side by side and reporter mode when you're sharing your window or screen. I did do a video demonstration on that. I will leave a link in the description box below just in case you want to check it out. But for today, let's go ahead and focus on PowerPoint Live. As you can see, I strictly use my PowerPoints for worksheets slash lecture videos. So today's demonstration, I'm going to use my section 7.1. So let me go ahead and click on that and as soon as I click PowerPoint is prepping and here is my beautiful worksheet on central limit theorem if you're an instructor like me and you do not need notes because you've been teaching this class for so long I highly recommend clicking on these more actions all the way to the bottom left hand corner and hiding your presenter view that gives you more surface area it kind of zooms into your slide but if you are not teaching a class and if you're presenting and you want to have your notes, you can have your notes right here. Again, keep in mind your audience will only see this screen. They will not see your notes, only your screen. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and hide presenter view. And here is my expanded screen for my students. But what I want to show you today is all the way on the top here, you have presenter mode. Right now, I'm in content only because that has been highlighted. When I move to the side, here is my standout mode. Are you ready? As soon as I click standout mode, here I am pushed and overlaid in front of my worksheet. And this kind of gives that students that personal touch, like an auditorium ambience or a classroom. It kind of feels like you are teaching to them and talking to them directly. And as you can see, I like this. And you can use your pen tool and write on it. You can use your highlighter and highlight and say, well, this is very important. Or you can use a eraser tool and erase. Or you can use a laser pointer and tell them, hey, this is very important. Focus on this or focus on my face, you know. And now I would like to click on more actions. And here I would like to show you how you can change the contrast. So as you can see, it says view slides in high contrast when I click on it. Here is your PowerPoint in high contrast. I think um, this makes my face look more happier. I'm going to keep this and I'm going to go back to more actions here. And here I also want to show you how you can translate your slide to various languages. And here I am going to pick, um, let's just say Hindi. And as soon as I click Hindi, my entire slide has been translated to Hindi. How cool is that? Now let's go ahead and try one more language. And I think this looks beautiful. I do not know how to read this and I don't know what that language is, but voila. Imagine you are teaching or you are presenting internationally and you want to change your entire slide. And at the same time, have your notes it kind of feels like you are teaching in their language. Your international audience can read your slides and at the same time understand you. That would be cool. How cool is that feature? And here you have an option to scroll through your slides. Again, I'm going to go back and change the language because I can't read what that language is. I'm going to go back to English and I am going to hide the presenter view. Here you have an option to navigate through your slides or when you click the grid view 
you can pick any slide that you want. So let's go back to slide number one. So here is my slide and here are all the features, but all the way on the top here, you have this little eye icon. So if you're like me, and if you don't want your students to scroll through your presentation, then make sure you click on this so that your students will stay exactly on the slide that you are on. So I really enjoy this feature. As you can see, it makes you look um, very professional and it gives that uh, personal touch to your lecture videos or to your interaction. But one thing that I noticed when you're using the standout mode is don't wear anything that has a print on it because when you're recording the session, your audience will see you, but it will be flipped. So if you're wearing something on your t-shirt, it will be kind of flipped and if they're trying to read that, maybe that's not going to work. So quick tip, make sure your shirts or your t-shirts or whatever you're wearing doesn't have any script on it. Apart from that, I like this feature a lot and it does make it look very professional. I can be on the screen and off the screen whenever I want. I can change the contrast and everything else looks perfectly fine here. I hope you enjoy this session. I hope you learn how to use the standout feature in PowerPoint Live to make your presentations much more interactive and professional. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because you and me both know how much we educators enjoy such updates. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Interactive PowerPoint, and Canvas Playlist. Do not forget to check them out. Did you know we now have a Facebook page where you can connect with me and exchange educational thoughts? And do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this new PowerPoint standout update in Microsoft Teams. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.